Hi everyone, um, I've got a couple of requests to do um, I Don't Want to See You Cry Anymore by Adam Melcher um, to do a tutorial of it, so yeah I'm just going to run through the way I play it and uh, maybe give you a couple of suggestions of how you can play it and just the basics and then you can leave it open to interpretation the way you want to do it but um, this is the way I'll do it so I'll just play for it quickly to show you how it goes when I played it on um, the cover it was tuned down a step but that was just so it's easy to sing so I'll play it in standard tuning and um, the way you'd probably want to play it so here it goes So that's the um, like the verse bit or the main sort of bit. So um, basically, to start off, you start with this D minor seven shape. So it's on the fifth fret. You're basically trying to get like the D minor seven, but so it's bar fifth and then seventh on the fourth string and sixth on the second string. So you get that basic shape, and you just want to kind of like finger pick it so. But the main melody is just starting here, just with these two, and then like hammer on the sixth fret, and then add that top E string, the eighth fret there. So it's just, and then that last note is just the sixth on the V, and then you end up with this G shape. So I'm doing that, just playing basically G with an open E, and then the D here. Then the C. So it's just basically. And then I I play it with um, the thumb on the F. But you can do it like this or like this. But I I basically thumb there and then just hammer on the sort of the rest of the shape. So and then same again. And then for the second one I go basically. So you end up with the E, G, A, and then back to the F, and back to the D minor, G, C, it's the same as the first one, and then for this next bit you just sort of an A shape, but I take the, so just using the bottom two fingers here for the A, a major shape, but open B, so basically hammer on, open E, D, and then back to the normal A major shape, and then just a two finger shape here, with first and second finger, so, so that's, and then that leads back up to the D minor shape here basically, and then back to the G. So the way I play this on the G is that I basically go so that and back to C. Right, I'll play through that whole section just a little bit slower for sake of it. So the sort of bridge part is quite simple actually. All you have to do is start with this A minor shape, like this. And same again with a G in the bass. Then back to F. You can play it like that if you want again, but I just keep it like this because this is how I play it to keep the melody in the first part. So then F and then C. Back to F. C again, and then you end up with a um, G, I 
think it's G major 7, so basically these, same as a normal G major, but the F on the top for the bass, so... Uh, sorry, a C on the top here. So C, G, it's kind of like a a weird shape, it's like the G major 7 shape, but just a bit further down, so... So you basically want to hammer on, pull off, and then the same again. G in the bass, F, C, F, C, G major 7, and then back up to the start bit again, so D minor, G, C, but this is the ending phrase, so back to the A major bit, D minor, G, So there you go, I'll play for it all one more time at full speed so you can uh, get both parts. So yeah, so something like that. Um, you just, if you want, add any kind of ways you want to add the top melody bits in as you want. You can either play it as a sort of, or you can go for the like finger picking thing, which I do. But um, yeah, anyway, you want to do it basically. I've just made my own interpretation of it. And um, yeah, I hope that's been helpful. And uh, let me know what you thought of this. And uh, good luck playing this.